the Los Angeles Olympics, 1932. Japanese swimmers rewrote the record book by speeding up the tempo of their arms and legs in a revolutionary style that rocked the swimming world. Hey Kitamura. I have always been amazed by Japanese swimmers. They are not the strongest or the tallest, yet they always seem to find a way to compete at the highest levels. When I say the highest levels, I mean world-breaking times and Olympic medals. So when I heard about the Japanese era when the Japanese dominated men's swimming, I wasn't surprised. The first Olympics at which they competed was 99 years ago at the Canada Olympics of 1920. At this point, none of the Japanese swimmers advanced to the semifinals. However, 12 years later, everything changed. They won five out of the possible six gold medals in men's swimming events, they won 11 out of the 18 possible medals. So what did they do in those 12 years? Mainly three things, which are still very important if you want to improve fast and drop times. The first thing is that they competed with the best swimmers. They invited the best swimmers in the world to compete in Japan. The Japanese swimmers also competed all over the world. This competition, along with a strong national pride that was growing at the time, made the Japanese swimmers very hungry for success. This feeling of really wanting to win makes you find ways of getting better. The second thing was stretching and mobility. In the words of Matsusawa, the head Japanese coach of the Japanese era, our swimmers have very flexible ankles, which gives them a lot of propulsion from their kicks without much effort. It is important to note here that the best swimmers, including of course the Japanese, still maintain an excellent flexibility and mobility to this day. This gives them a better range of motion to move in the water in ways that not many humans can. The third reason, and the one that I found most interesting, is that the Japanese used underwater photography to study the mechanics of their swimmers. They used this to change their technique and revolutionized swimming forever. Imagine the advantage they had over their competition. Most swimmers at the time had never seen their technique underwater. They could not see how their arms or legs were moving in the water. They had to trust their coaches who were probably outside the water and couldn't see their underwater technique that well either. Fast forward almost 90 years and most swimmers have never even seen underwater footage of themselves swimming either. It's been 8 years since I had access to an underwater camera and I have improved and continue to improve my technique. My brother and I have studied footage for years of many swimmers, both pro and beginners, and we have become somewhat experts on this area. And now we want to take it to another level. This summer of 2019, we want to take 15 swimmers to a swimming camp. This camp will be held in Thailand, in these beautiful, world-class training facilities. We will focus all of our efforts on making those 15 swimmers improve beyond what they thought was possible. Whether you want to swim long distances without getting tired, or drop time in your best event, this is your chance to get our help in person. You can find out more and reserve your spot at skillswimming.com or by clicking here. See you in Thailand. Swim fast!